All right, so now we've looked at ScreenFlow and iMovie on the Mac. And so now what we're going to look at is uh, we're going to look at video editing for Windows. For Mac guys like myself who want to do you know, the webinars and things like that. You have three main options. Um, the first is Boot Camp. And what Boot Camp is, is it's Apple's solution to be able to run uh, Windows on the Mac. It's free, it comes with the Mac. And uh, what it does is it essentially sets up a separate partition. Um, so it divides your hard drive into two different operating systems. One is Windows, one is Mac. So while it's easy to do this, and it's super powerful because you get all the resources from your Mac on your Windows and your Windows on your Mac, it requires a reboot. So you have to shut your computer down and reboot it back up in Windows, or you have to shut your Windows down and reboot it back up into Mac. The applications can't talk to each other and things like that. So it is super powerful. And it makes running Windows on Mac super easy and super quick. But the setting up process is not very quick. If you're like me, you're on a Mac, you're working all day on a Mac, and then it's time to do a webinar, you have to shut your computer down, reboot it back up in Windows, etc. And so it's a little bit more difficult. So that's why uh, what we do is we call virtualize Windows on a Mac. And so what it does is just like your mail application and just like Safari, your internet application, what it'll do is it'll run Windows inside that window. So you can kind of think of it as Safari running Windows. And so I, it's a little confusing, I know, but I'll kind of show you what it looks like here in just a second because I run it and that's actually how I do uh, our webinars and that's actually how I've shown y'all all the Windows stuff because I'm running it on a Mac. So I'm actually recording from my Mac and I'm recording that window inside Parallels. So what I use is I use Parallels. And Parallels is an $80 option and it is super stable. It makes installation easy and they do a very good job with bug fixes. Um, but it is an $80 option. The other option is what we call VirtualBox. And VirtualBox is a free open source option. Um, and it does the same thing that Parallels does. It just doesn't do it quite as well. So those are your options. VirtualBox is a great option. It allows you to virtualize Windows very easily and uh, super cheap considering it's free. But the only problem is, is you know, recent updates. Uh, you know, if you're running the latest version of something, you know, VirtualBox may not have caught up with that because it is open source. So let's take a look at these three main options here. And the first one is Boot Camp. And what Boot Camp does is, again, it's, it's Apple's option for running Windows on a Mac. Here's a little tutorial to kind of walk you through how to set it up. It's super easy. Um, and actually, there is a Boot Camp Assistant that comes on your Mac. And I'll boot that up real fast. Take a look and see what it looks like here. So what it'll do is it'll walk you through every option and everything. And essentially it creates a separate partition on your Mac for Windows. The other option that I recommend is Parallels. And actually right now it's $60 instead of $80, but regularly it's $80. And what this does is it virtualizes Windows on a Mac. This is the one that's super stable and it is easy to set up. They walk you through the entire setup process. And this is the one that I recommend. This is the one that seems to translate the power from Mac over to Windows. And you know, it, it has a couple of other features. Uh, for example, you can actually get rid of the Windows environment and actually you know, open up your webinar so it looks like it's running on a Mac. It has Mac Windows, it has all that kind of stuff. And so those are just kind of some of the features, you know, that, that you can see with Parallels. The competitor to Parallels is VMware Fusion. Um, and VMware Fusion is, is good. I prefer Parallels just because it seems to be more stable to me and it seems to run faster. They seem to stay on top of bug fixes better. For example, OSX Mavericks is coming out for us Mac guys and uh, Parallels is already supporting OSS Mavericks and at this time it's still in beta. You know, they stay on top of those updates very well. The final option is VirtualBox and again, this is an open source software. You can see that their, you know, their website doesn't look as fancy but it works just as well and it will enable you to run you know your Windows application here you go you can see what it looks like you can run Windows applications on a Mac you can run Mac applications on a Windows so you can actually see here this is VirtualBox for Windows and they're actually running Ubuntu on it 
And then this is VirtualBox for Mac and they're running Windows on it. And here's VirtualBox for Linux and they're running Windows on it. So it does have a Windows, a Mac, and a Linux option. You know, they're very good. VirtualBox is stable. Um, it's not quite as good as Parallels, but you know, it's kind of as the saying goes, you get what you pay for. You know, VirtualBox is great for starting out. It's great if you're not putting a lot of demand on the application on Windows. Just a couple of things to keep in mind. You know, VirtualBox does support Windows 8, but it doesn't seem to be very good. So I recommend you either do uh, Windows XP or you run Windows 7. That's kind of what they recommend. And Parallels, I actually am running Windows 8 on all my applications and they've done a very good job with uh, keeping that updated. Uh, so those are the options as far as running Windows on your Mac because it really is required to you know do these webinars effectively. They do have a Mac application, uh, Citrix does, for GoToWebinar, but it just bothers me. It's, it's not very polished. It seems to have a lot of bugs, and it seems like they don't put a lot of time and effort and money into their Mac application. And, I mean, that's probably because Windows is a lot more popular of an application. So that's my recommendation is to run Windows on your Mac. So what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to take a look at Expression, which is a free application from Microsoft. So I'll see you there.